Meanwhile, the member for Grey Rowan Ramsey has returned to the region after Parliament's final week last week. I spoke to him earlier today from his office in Wyala and began by asking how he'd bounced back after his narrow win of the July election, which saw him suffer a major swing against him. Uh, yeah, well, it was an eight-week campaign and the uh, Prime Minister said, well, we won't be having another one of those. Uh, and so it was, it was quite exhausting in a physical sense for all candidates. And, uh, and yes, it was a, it was a, it was a, a different dynamic in, the, in this, this campaign and this election. But I think since then, uh, pretty much we, I, I have we've got on with the job and so has the government. In fact, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with the amount of legislation we've been able to get through the parliament in, in time since the election. Uh, now, Nick Champion told us last week that you've been let down by a ministry more interested in saving their own skin than looking after South Australia. Do you feel you're getting the support you need to support regional SA? Well, what would you expect Nick to say? Uh, he's a partisan. He's a partisan player and, and, and he plays it down that line all the time. It wouldn't matter what we did. Uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't make Nick happy. Uh, I've been incredibly happy with the support that I've received from... Uh, from higher up, if you like, in the Cabinet, and, and particularly probably the, the most pressing issue um, after electricity generally across uh, the electorate of Grey, let me say, in South Australia, but is, is the, uh, the situation here in Wyala at Arium. Uh, and I could not have asked for more support from the Prime Minister, uh, from Scott Morrison, and in particular from Greg Hunt, who has just been fabulous. Just on that, you're in Wyala at the moment, as we said, and we've heard repeatedly that there's hopes the steelworks will be sold off by Christmas, less than 20 days away now. Are you feeling like that's a likely outcome? Well, I'm, I wouldn't hang my hat on before Christmas, but uh, it won't be long after if that's the case, I don't think. I, I think maybe the game's getting a little bit in front of some people, but uh, I'd be very, very happy if it does happen before Christmas, and, and people have that certainty because that's one of the great issues. Finally, what's your message for the region heading into the Christmas break and into the new year? We, we, are, we are doing very well, the electorate of Grey. Uh, sometimes it's, it's hard to see those benefits if you live in Sejuna and you see the new boat ramp going in Yorktown. <laughs> you sort of wonder what the connection is. I, and people have to get their mind around the size, the absolute magnitude of Grey, uh, and that they're not always aware of what's going on in the different corners of it. But that's my job to bring that message. Uh, I can certainly tell the constituents that... Um, um, I, I will be working my backside off in 2017 and, uh, and looking for great results. I know that we'll be seeing you on the road again into the new year. Rowan Ramsey, good to talk to you. Happy Christmas. Good to talk to you, Tim. Thanks very much.